This is our Icelandic crib. The capital inn. It's very icy outside. I can barely step without slipping around. You'll find our room. The boy's bathroom is ripped off. This morning I went to take a shower. It had been like 48 hours since I'd showered. I was feeling really grody. So, you know, you come in, you got the toilets, right? MBD. So far, so good. It's normal. Um, I come in to take a shower. You know, we've got a little curtain. Actually, a really nice looking shower for a hostel. Um, then, then I noticed that I had a shower buddy and uh, the whole wall here is, is glass. So you've got like a shower buddy in here with you on the other side while you're trying to scrub your, scrub your bits clean. And um, you know you're sharing a space with a bunch of people and you learn to uh, not care so much about your privacy, I guess. I, I've heard that the showers are really hot in Iceland and this morning I got in the shower and I could not make the water cold at all. So I showered myself in this itty bitty sink and um, yeah, did my hair, conditioner, shampoo and my face and then I used baby wipes to wash the rest of my body because I couldn't figure out the stupid shower. So tomorrow I need to figure it out. Wish me luck. <laughs> Josh, it's this me. Is my bunk. Ta -da. Down here is where my bunk was before I came home at 11:30 p.m. for someone sleeping in my bed. I found a different one. I didn't want to wake him. I mean, he's you know he's traveling just like us. He's tired. I have the best because I have a window. And it gets so hot in here. She discovered it too late. It was so hot. Not too late. We have seven more days, six more days. Well, I mean, it was like 5 a.m. Well, yeah. Yeah. All the bunks in our dorm. 16 person dorm. We're two of those people. It was full last night. Not a bunk unslept in. And I think there are about four or five guys who snore. Not a big deal, other than I think at 2.30 a.m. the guy next to me farted and I heard it. <laughs> yeah, we were thinking to ourselves, you know, what are we going to need to live while traveling? We don't have, I mean, we have a kitchen here, you can see, but um, we're not going to be here for too long, so we can't buy too much, you know? So what do we need to live off of the next couple days? Basically, we got us some sandwich stuff. We got bread, um, some sort of... Icelandic Dijonese. I don't know. It's actually it's actually a really good kind of tangy, like a like a miracle whip. Uh, we've got some meats and cheeses, and then for breakfast we're gonna do uh, oatmeal raisins with walnuts. I think that is. Oh, oh, almonds. Yeah, I don't. This morning, Ashley made it for me, and it was delicious, and I loved it. And I'm gonna eat it the rest of the week here, so we're good. That's basically our week. Travel essentials. When shopping. Figuring out the best Yep. We found the one. It takes us downtown from where we're at. And it also takes us back. The only problem is, as far as I can tell, it only comes once or twice an hour. We end up waiting a little bit. What is? One bus, easy to figure out. So this is the main downtown area of Reykjavik, it's like the main street, and it's pretty lit up, and it's snowy right now, and it's beautiful. It's snowing hard, it's freezing cold. Oh my gosh. Here we are at the church in Reykjavik, Iceland. This is where we will see Fireworks tomorrow. Here. <laughs> so fireworks. Really excited. <laughs> 